Well, good morning, everybody. I just needed to talk to you concerning what happened in Georgia. Uh, most of you probably heard uh, the Democrats won both seats in the Senate. But I want to tell you something. I, when I heard that, I just began to dan dance and rejoice. The Spirit of the Lord came on me. It was so powerful because the church is the answer to America, not our government. Now, I believe with all my heart that God wants Trump to be our next president. I believe he's going to intervene, and I believe he's a piece of the puzzle. But all the years I've studied revival, 40-plus years, this, the first great awakening was so evil before that that the Princeton University, the students went over and took the Bible off the altar of the church, took it out in the street and burned it and declared that God was dead. And, and corruption was running all over the place. And God raised up the preachers. God raised up the church and changed the whole situation. That scenario plays out in every revival. In Wales, one of the greatest revivals, the government, government was corrupt. Alcoholism was rampant. Uh, it was uh, gambling. It was, it was absolute uh, evil. But God sent a revival, and, and most of that country got saved. It was awesome. The government changed then. So you see, when God brings revival, governments change. So we're not putting our hope in the government. I still believe that God is going to put Trump in there. I, still, I truly believe it. But I'm going to tell you what, no matter what happens, the answer to America is us, the church. We must say, Jesus, you are Lord. God is going to exalt his son in our nation. And, and when revival comes, hearts change. Crooked people can fall on their face and meet God. But God stops the evil that's coming th into a country. And so I'm excited this morning. I, I am going to preach harder than ever before about the church coming alive, being unified. Let the glory of God come upon us. So this Sunday, uh, last night we prayed, and, and I just felt like this Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, that we need to just come together and seek the face of God. God spoke many times to his people, just come and seek me, just come and seek me. And so between now and Sunday night, I would encourage you to seek the face of God. Set aside, don't, don't be paying attention to the news media, set it aside and, and uh, listen to the true news media, the word of God, set your face to God. And I believe that God wants to meet with us this Sunday night in a very, very special way and to, to launch us and to keep us moving towards the glory of God coming to this house, affecting nations. I believe it with all my heart. So I'm excited about it. So this Sunday at six o'clock, I, I just encourage you to come. We're just going to seek the face of God. We're going to praise, worship, let the spirit move because God's establishing us, church. He's got to understand this shepherd's house and whoever's listening. God has established us as his people to bring forth his glory. So, that's what will change America. That's what will change nations. And we have to understand the scripture that says, be still and know that I am God. Listen to what he says. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in all the earth. So all we have to do is stand still, trust God, not compromise our faith, be even more uh, in the presence of God, in his word, letting God take full control of us. Because even though you may be, quote, spirit-filled, you may have the spirit, but here's the question. Does the spirit have you? And let him come and take full possession of his temple. We belong to him. We're going to see a great awakening, church. Don't be discouraged. Like the Lord says, be not discouraged. Don't be fearful. Don't be dismayed. Why? Because the Lord our God is with us. So anyway, I just want to encourage you. Seek his face Sunday evening. I believe we're going to have an incredible presence of God with us. Anyway, be blessed today. Be not discouraged. Be not dismayed. The Lord our God is with us. Amen.